Okay, so the next tool we're going to be looking at in the hyperlinks is the listing enhancement tool. Let's click on it and let's head over to listing enhancements. So to give you some information about listing enhancements, this tool and what's going on here is customers search Amazon. They're searching for uh, you know specific details about a product that it's listing and Amazon's algorithm, if it notices or it believes that there's information that's pertinent to that ASIN, that listing, and it's missing, they're gonna notify you and it's going to be in this tool. So let's take a look at what we have here. We have the status, which we know now, the different conditions, the statuses of our listings. A majority that we're looking at here are inactive. Next, we have the main image, the SKU, the product name. Everything here is hyperlinked, right? If you click the product name, it'll bring you to the Amazon page of it. If you click the SKU, it will bring you to a more detailed tool of view inside of Seller Central gives you more details about that SKU, its performance uh, in your catalog. If you take a look here, it shows the sales in the past 7, 30, 90 days, its rank, what category it's in, the average selling price, average units per order. You know, it really gives you a better scope of what's happening with this SKU and its performance, its conversion. And now back to the listing enhancements page, you'll see the day created. And then right here is what we're looking for and that's the enhancement. So it's telling us to click the edit button here to add a unit count. Let's take a look at this listing. Let's see why they're saying that. So here you go. They noticed that it's McCormick Pickling Spice one and a half ounce four pack. The title shows four pack. The bullet points don't say anything about the count. And if we go down to its details, over here as well, it does not say anything about its count. So yes, we're going to have to edit that and let me show you how you go ahead and do that. You'll click the edit button, wait for the page to load, and let's see what they're saying here. They're saying some vital info is missing and right here, they already have it highlighted in red so you know where to go and edit the information. We're gonna put a four here and then what we're gonna click is the count because that's the information that's missing. And by updating this, if you've ever seen on Amazon where it has the main image and then it has the Amazon logo with a number amount, basically telling you what the pack size is, what count you'll be getting, the way that that updates automatically is through putting the unit and then the count type of count in here. So we'll save that and those changes should reflect in the next 15 minutes. There you go, that simple, that listing enhancement is done. Let's go look at one more, get a better understanding of what's happening here. We have all these, these are unit counts. Uh, over here we have an invalid image. If we had this in stock, we would go downstairs, we would go grab the product. Uh, we would use our Amazon Photo Boot Studio. Check out the link right here to order one of them. It's phenomenal. Obviously now we have a full studio, but for years, over $10 million in sales in this Photo Boot Studio, which works amazing with the Amazon Seller app, is actually made for that. I met the gentleman who created the photo booth and the photo studio app. I met him at an Amazon conference in New Orleans a few years ago. And uh, that's what really put me onto it. And it was a game changer. Uh, revolutionized how quickly and effortlessly we could take phenomenal pictures that were compliant to Amazon's rules, regulations, as far as the, the size, the 2000 by 2000 pixel, making it easily zoomable, the white background. If you don't have it, and you're doing, you know, I'd say $100,000 in sales a year, you're gonna need to get it, especially if you're doing wholesale. You're gonna need to get it because you're gonna come across listings that have so much opportunity, but most of the time, it's just a poor created listing that turns out to have 
low or no conversions. And that's why this listing enhancement page is so vital, especially for listings that you have active right now, right? You want to make sure that the customer, I'm sure you're aware they can't touch, they can't feel the product. Some some of them have never even ordered this product. So what they're looking at is they're looking at the images, the bullet point, the descriptions, the reviews, and making a decision right then and there whether they're going to order the product or not. We have enhanced some listings that had a terrible uh, rating, terrible uh, rank rather, and uh, very low conversion rate. And by just changing the bullet points or, or just changing a couple images on it, we turned it into a phenomenal ranked product and were able to take something that was maybe doing five sales a month all the way up to 150 to 300 uh, sales a month for us. So this, this listing enhancement, I cannot say enough about this listing enhancement tool and how vital it is. So here we have uh, this one Amazon stating it's missing the color. Uh, let's take a look. Obviously, it's an old Thompson black peppercorn. Uh, it's not missing a color. And once again, it's Amazon's algorithm. So they're kind of just scraping through the pages, trying to find what they believe is missing information. Uh, in this instance, it's not. But let's take a look at it and let's see why they're saying it's missing a color. Uh, right here, the title says it's a black peppercorn. So they put picked up the color black. So therefore they're thinking that when you go to the listing, it should show you what color it is. And that would be right here. Uh, you can enter it or you can go click edit. If you want to go look at it in more detail, once again, we go to vital info and you work your way down here and it's highlighted in red asking you to color and the color map, right? So you would put, pick black and then type in black save really not needed for this listing but I just kind of wanted to give you guys some further insight what's happening here and you are going to see a lot of incorrect enhancement options that show up um, or suggestions recommendations uh, and you'll just kind of want to pass them you obviously don't have to take on every single one but just wanted to show you guys that and of course you could have put it in here as well click save and that would have made the change as well 15 minutes to take effect about and that's that they say 15 minutes and if it doesn't take effect then that just means they did not accept uh, your request or your suggestion um, so if you ever make a change to a listing, remember lots of times, especially in wholesale, there's other sellers on that listing. And if Amazon deems that your recommendation isn't the right fit for that listing, they won't make that change. Uh, if you feel that it is and it was done in error, you can always go ahead, create a case, provide them all the information, and then their uh, support team will look further into it. So Amazon is suggesting, hey, you need to click edit to add a unit count. Uh, it's saying it's missing a unit count. 